Hi, my name is Matt, and welcome to episode one of RC Flying for the Newbie. I had an opportunity today to fly my first uh, RC aircraft, a Super Cub DSM by Hobby Zone. Did a lot of research and figured out uh, that this was probably the best starting point for me, and apparently for quite a few others. These series of videos are for those newbies out there. I have no experience whatsoever flying RC aircraft. I have done a little bit of RC stuff with boats and a little bit with cars, but never with an aircraft. I am a trained pilot, and aeronautical engineering is not a new thing to me. I have thousands, countless thousands of hours on personal computer flight sims, so the principles and understandings of flight are uh, pretty well known to me. However, never have I done this before. And it is a completely new experience driving third person this speeding craft above, in my case, not an ideal situation, not an ideal location at all. Um, my maiden voyage, epic, epic crash within 10 seconds. I uh, had some serious trim issues. Knew I had them, thought I could recover from those and set the trim up uh, in the aircraft. Kind of akin to a regular aircraft that you're flying a small aircraft you can trim it out. Not the case in RC land, and I learned quickly. I'm an avid uh, science enthusiast, teacher, consultant, and I believe strongly that through rapid failure comes rapid learning. And you are about to experience some rapid learning because this is an epic crash that you're about to see. And I think not that bad of a landing right after in flight number two after a lot of learning and repairs so here you go okay it's going, Is it going? yeah so tell us what you're doing here Matt. first what? give us a little background what? what's going on here all right this is a maiden voyage i'm going to do a hand launch hopefully it's trimmed out it looks like it has a little bit of elevator, but I don't know if that's by design or not. I don't know what that means. Elevator is what makes it go up and down. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do a full throttle on it, and then I'm going to throw it. And hopefully it's not going to nosedive into the grass. Okay, well, let's see. And then I don't know what's going to happen there. Ready? Yeah. I can't tell if I've got it. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, no. <laughs> The dog. Number one. <laughs> you want to you want to say something about this? Uh, tally number one and prop number one is good already. It was heavy trim to the left, which is unfortunate. Can we look at the damage here? What's what's happened? Um, the wing is undamaged. It took a severe impact with the prop, and the cowling is dead. <laughs> And the cowling is that cover? Is that the all? Cowling is the cover. So, do you have all replacement so parts know. for all those things? Yeah, I do. Because you are. Well, it's unfortunate that this happened. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. It went we up could launch in in the grass. It went up too high. That's true. I thought about doing that. I know. And here's our spectator. Hi, Cash. Are you the spectator? Are you a spectator? All right, we're going to sign did off for actually, now. Did you actually... Okay, Matthew, do you want to talk about what's going on here? This is flight number two. We replaced the cowling and the prop. Um, not much other damage. Figured out a lot about the plane. Um, it was heavily trimmed to the left. Why? And I don't know why. Okay. So, so now... It trimmed all the way to the right and all the way up on the elevator. And the elevator still looks like it's going up. But now this time we're going to start in the grass. Yeah, that's probably a good so I'm idea. I'm going to nosedive into the pavement. I'm a little worried about the dogs to the right. Uh huh. Even though they're quite a ways away. And the water. And there's also, there. yeah, it's muddy. So. Oh, there's water. Go out there. Go that way. There's water over there. Probably not a great place to do this. 
I don't know if I still have it. Oh yeah. Why are you so high? <laughs> Come down. Don't You're too. To what? Doggies don't like the airplane. Cash likes the airplane, though. Heavily trim still. I'm battling the trim. Kip. Still trying to trim it. It still wants to go left. Tell me when you're going to land it. Well, that was a pretty good landing. Oh my god. Wasn't it? Yeah. Is it still going? Well, it hasn't been going the whole time, but I start. I wanted to film it landing. I got just the very end. All so, right. well, and? Uh, very successful landing. Good idea to be in the grass. Um, this is just too tight an area to do it in with the canal over there and it's uh -huh. so marshy. Yeah. But I have it trimmed all the way to the right and it was still going to the right. And I have it trimmed all the way up, meaning to make it go into a dive, but it was still climbing. So, <coughs> and this is all with the anti-crash protection turned off, which I don't think would have helped matters at all. So I need to adjust the con connection points on the rudder. <coughs> but that's it for today.